Have you ever experienced like this? I study Japanese from textbooks, but when I watch anime, I don't understand anything at all. In this video, I will introduce 10 recommended animes for you guys that can help beginners of Japanese N5 to N4 levels. Learn Japanese that is not in textbook, but actually used in daily life. Hi everyone in the world, Yahoo Minna Mochi Sensei desu. Do you guys like anime? Speaking of anime that are famous overseas, there are many of them such as Pokemon, Naruto, One Piece, Dragon Ball, and Demon Slayer, Attack on Titan. But did you know that all of them actually use Japanese that are not used in daily life? For example, Naruto's famous phrase, Datte ba yo. There are no Japanese who says Datte ba yo in real life. Actually, in fantasy anime, there are a lot of characters who has unique way of speaking. So this time, I will introduce 10 animes that will use in daily life. If you feel my speaking is too slow, please play in double speed. So let's get started. Hajime yo! Number 1. Chibi Maru Kotan. This is a national anime that everyone in Japan knows. Chibi means short. And Maru-chan is the main character's name. It's a daily life of Maru-chan's family and her friends at school. The phrases that appears in this anime is proper Japanese with no slang. Everyday life is the stage and the conversation is slow and easy Japanese. Although it looks like an anime for children, it's also loved by adults. Number 2. Doraemon. This is also a national anime that is loved across generations. Many of you probably know Doraemon. The story is that Doraemon, a cat-shaped robot from the future, helps Nobita with the futuristic tools like this. The name of the tools and the future settings may be a little difficult for those who are very beginners in Japanese. But overall, the Japanese is really gentle. This anime also looks like it's for kids, but the movie version has such touching scenes that make me cry every time. Number 3. Azuman ga dai o, an anime about the high school life of unique characters. It's a little comedy anime that you can watch leisurely. Japanese in this anime has little slang, but it's easy to understand and suitable for studying Japanese. A lot of girls appear and it's so cute. Number 4. Nichijo. Nichijo means daily life. As the title suggests, this is a story depicting the interesting daily lives of the characters. Especially recommended for those who like Azumanga Daio introduced earlier. Japanese level is a little higher than previous anime I recommended, but there are no words so difficult that you can't understand the story. Number 5. Kimi ni todoke. This is my favorite anime and also it has a comic. Those of you who want to fall in love with Japanese, this anime is perfect for you. The main character, a very quiet girl, grows through love and friendship. It's a heartful anime that makes you want to cheer for the main character. The boy who the main character falls in love with is so cute. Japanese in this anime have slang depends on the character, but the main character's Japanese is really proper and beautiful. Also, I think there are many characters who speak really slow. There are many phrases that are used in love situation. Number 6. Tonari no Totoro Studio Ghibli is one of the most famous anime in Japan. It's very popular overseas, so I wonder if many people have already seen it. Did you guys already seen Totoro? My Neighbor Totoro is the most recommended Ghibli movie for studying Japanese. A story about the mysterious creature Totoro that appears in front of Satsuki and Mei sisters who have moved to a countryside. There are fantasy elements, but Japanese in this anime is something we use every day. You can also learn about life in the countryside of Japan in the past. The characters also speak clearly, so it's really easy to understand. And it's good for hearing exercise. Number 7. Kemono Frenzu a cute anime that was once a social phenomenon in Japan. This is an anthro anthropomorphized anime in which servo cats and raccoons have become cute girls. Anthropomorphism is a characterization of an object or animal in the image of human being. Like this. Servo cats, 
raccoons. It's a popular anime even overseas. Japanese in this anime is surprisingly easy except for explanations of animals. Also, the characters speak really slowly, so the Japanese is really easy to understand even for foreigners. Number 8. Hitariya. This is an anime that anthropomorphizes countries such as Japan, Italy, and Germany. For example, Italy loves girls in pasta, Germany is serious and muscular, and Japan is really quiet, and so on. Japanese in this anime can be a little difficult, but since the country is the character, it is an anime that people from any country can easily be interested in. Wonder what your country's character look like? Number 9. Shirokuma Cafe. This is another anime with lots of animals, a heartwarming story about a bear who runs a cafe and the animals who are customers who come to the shop. Animals that work normally in human society are funny and cute. Japanese is slow for large animals. Overall, it is easy to understand. You can study various Japanese phrases. And the last one. Maison Ikkoku, one of the representative works of Rumiko Takahashi-san, who is famous for Urusei Yatsu da, Ranma Nibun no Ichi, Inuyasha. Have you ever seen any of these? It's popular overseas, so many people know about it, right? This is the story of Kyoko, who owns the old apartment called Ikkoku Kam, and Yusaku, who falls in love with her. It's a really old anime, but it's so beautiful and fun. Because of the Showa era background and the age of the main characters, Japanese may be a little difficult. However, there is almost no slang in Japanese, so it's perfect for studying. So I introduced my 10 recommended anime. How many anime do you know? If you have recommendation of anime that is perfect for learning Japanese, please share them in the comments for everyone else. Fantasy anime has some Japanese that is not actually used, but anime set in daily life is extremely educational. You can learn a lot of real Japanese that you can find in the textbook. Even if you don't like anime, Japanese anime is really interesting, so please give it a try. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Mata ne!